Kazla the Broken Halo is our Convoking Angel Commander from the Divine Convocation Precon from March of the Machine. First, we're going to go through and make some cuts from the Precon deck, and then we're going to add some cards back in their place. And at the end, we're going to do a little play testing so you can see how the deck performs. If you don't mind giving me just a second to thank our Patreon for their support of our efforts over here at the channel, we'll be right back with the upgrade. Highest level of gratitude to our patrons who power the channel through Patreon. Check out the Patreon link in the description to learn about monthly giveaways, VIP Discord access, and even our official playmat. Castle of the Broken Halo, a white, a red, a blue, and three for a 5-4 angel ally with Convoke. And now when you tap a creature to Convoke, it can pay for one or one mana of that creature's color. So it is possible to get Kazla down to free if we've got six creatures on the battlefield, one of which is white, one of which is red, one of which is blue, at the very least. Which will also help a lot with commander tax if it were to get removed. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Again and again. Yeah, I mean, basically the first time you recast it, have two creatures on the battlefield, you don't have to pay the tax. Right. And so forth. Yeah, Tesla I think it. I get kind of like a, a vibe that this commander needs to be attacking alongside uh, the creatures in the deck, we do see that there are 28 creatures. Yeah. Um, Flying Vigilance five, and four. Haste. Yeah. Yeah, there exactly. You go. Whenever you cast another spell that has Convoke, you scry two, then you draw a card. A scry two, big deal. Big deal. Yeah. And what's cool about it is you have the draw engine built into the commander, which makes me really excited because you don't have to build a ton of draw into the deck you know you will still want to have some draw in the deck i was curious jake and obviously all of these won't be playable necessarily sure. but i wanted to know how many cards in our colors have convoked so that we can trigger that scry to draw card which you're right is huge replacing these cards in our hand lets us be very aggressive 52 options not bad not bad at all lots of convoke yeah so Elspeth Sun's champion, I mean, what is it here? You got a board wipe back door and you got three one ones that can help convoke Kazla out. I mean, anything that creates tokens is probably going to be pretty solid in this deck, right? You know, I think so, unless unless it's something that's just kind of like filler and we're going to go through all the stuff that creates tokens. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if it if it does create tokens, I would think pretty good elspeth a little top heavy for sure that might end up being a cut but it's a fine card and i see why they put it in the deck well let's look at mox field functionality real fast real fast chat and you can see how we typically do this we've got a sideboard and we've got <clears throat> what we what would be called a maybe board typically when we make our cuts in these pre-cons we take the cuts and put them in the sideboard because that shows very clearly what we've taken out of the pre-con as it stands. But then we also have cards, Jake, in the maybe board that are kind of, you know, considering cards. So just right. keep that in mind as we see cards here as we're making our cuts. Angel of Finality enters the battlefield, exile target player's graveyard. This is one for me, that Jake, that I would say this is maybe a utility board. creature that could go into the yeah. maybe board, right? It doesn't really work with our general... Um, yeah, I think this will be a cut from the deck. I think sideboard would be best for that one because I doubt we put sure. that one back in, right? Yeah. Angel of Salvation's got Flash and Convoke. ETBs prevent the next five damage that would be dealt this turn to any number of targets divided as you choose. The next five that would be dealt this turn to any number of targets. So does that mean... cut that as well. This, that this is like, just to me, it, it's fine because it has Convoke. Um, you know, maybe, maybe if there's enough go wide and you get this, get this out fast enough, it could be good. I don't know. I don't even like it that much as a payoff. I mean, it's a, it's a five, five flyer, which is nice, but right. Yeah. Let's put this in the, maybe in the considering just cause it does have convoke. It's one that might come back in as we fall more and more in love or less in love with convoke. This says when banisher priest enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. So this is putting effects on creatures so that you can still have removal effects <clears throat> but also achieve this is just, this is just convocation yeah that's true that's true for me this is very cuttable but yeah 
Yeah, that's just it's it's very medium, very medium. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus one counter on it. When it dies, create X one one blues with Island Walk, where X this is the number of plus one plus one. Yeah, it's this good. You know, really it's good. it's gonna you it's, it's gonna create things that help us convoke for sure, and just get bigger and bigger, and they all Island Walk as well. Just yeah like, and it just it gets massive if i recall correctly this card used to be very expensive i think when it was a scarce card it did have some pretty good pretty good value yeah we'll leave we'll leave chasm skulker in i'm sorting by mana cost so we can go see our watch our curve at the same time sounds good etbs untap up to two lands and it's got cycling yeah this one i feel like is a cut for me it's just, yeah, it's a it's a one one that helps convoke. <laughs> right, it's not right, very good. But every good. creature helps convoke, right? I mean, I'd rather do this: pay one red, one other, for two red pips convoked. Like that reduces our commander down to four mana by just it's like playing a mog this. war marshal. Yeah. yeah, just yeah, it's that's a fine card as well. But this for me is another card that looks like there's probably something that we could find that's better for sure you know we could go with like um what's that one card's called i, I don't know why i can't remember it rabble master you're right yeah i get what you're saying any number of them but at least it's yeah. on theme for the deck right at least this is what we want to do i think it'd be a pretty good turn to play to reduce castle to four mana yeah, I and think then be so able as to well. convoke her out. Yeah, I was just saying that there is probably something that exists sure. if we were to fine tune it that could replace that. Yeah, for not too much money. Enters the battlefield, draw a card, so at least this replaces itself is probably why it's in here. But again, it's yeah, pretty, it's okay, pretty medium. very medium. Yeah. Um, another creature enters the battlefield, gain a life. Another creature in the battlefield under your opponent's. I mean, it's. The idea here is we're creating a lot of tokens, right? But I don't know that this is the synergy we want to lean into with those tokens, personally. Just draining. Oh, why don't we... You know what? Before we make cuts, let's look at everything that they do really quick. We, like, we've already made a couple cuts. Right. But let's just briefly go through what it looks like the synergy was that the, the people who made this intended okay. yeah i like that so tetsuko avi we're creating a lot of tokens we can make those tokens unblockable with tetsuko hedge mage it seems like etb was a big was a big sub theme of this because this is if you control two more mountains destroy an artifact two more planes destroy an enchantment on the etb here you know we don't have a lot yeah, i guess it's just as much as possible they wanted creatures that fulfilled the removal roles and then we're left over to convoke your commander out or convoke your convoke spells um sure yeah um really quick keto says joel you're gonna need creatures well what we're gonna do is once we make our cuts we're gonna go and look back and see what did we cut and then we're gonna replace it with probably a creature if we cut a creature we're gonna put a creature back in just something that seems better or, yeah or i mean I, honestly more. 25 to 30 creatures i think is completely fine with this deck you know, one in every three cards, pretty sweet. One in every four cards. Because right. if you can get one of these two or three <clears throat> mana, if you can get a two or three mana creature down on the battlefield on turn two or three, you're definitely casting Kazla by three turn three or four. And that's where we want to be. We can tap out to play that fourth creature or that third creature rather. And then tap out all the three creatures and be able to get Kazla out there for, you know, super cheap. Goblin Medics, right. wh whenever it becomes tapped, deal one damage to any target. I think that's going to be a sub theme we see because we've got St. Traft and Rem Carolus as our, as our uh, uh, lieutenant commander, so to speak. And so, sure. you know, we're going to have a little bit of a tap, yeah. tap sub theme. Mentor of the Meek. This is a card that I'm always fine with. It's, it's, it's going to work really well with our theme and yeah. it's it's just draw on a body helps convoke as well when this becomes tapped it flickers something a non-land non-token permanent of anybody's that can be good you attack you flicker there you flicker this their big card blocker is a token. good oh it's not but i would i would put this in a maybe board as well okay. i think it's a great card definitely maybe board because it doesn't 
100% synergize with our well then goblin medics i would say right like it's the same thing here any of this tap creature stuff is potentially the same thing nadir Dra uh kraken oh yeah convoke also triggers it when you tap to convoke it it gets the thing and flicker a thing yeah oh, that's, that's true. true yeah we need that to, is true we need to think about tap synergies let's put this back in for now yeah yeah that sounds good Becomes i wasn't tapped. thinking about that that's a good idea haven't ever built a convoke deck. Whenever you draw a card, I like Kraken. Yeah, that's it's good. Fine. Yeah, same Goes thing here. Goes wide, gets big. It's, it's strong. Convokes and creates stuff and untaps when it convokes. Great. Yeah. Enters the battlefield, untap all creatures you control. So this I would keep because it's just going to be. Baby. It's kind of silly. It's going to allow us to do some big stuff. Yeah, for sure. Wildfire Awakener's a new card, a white or red and one, an X for a 3-2 with Convoke. ETBs create X, 1-1 one, one red elemental creature tokens with whenever this creature becomes tapped, it deals one damage. Holy, this is good. But yeah, that card's straight gas. These tokens the don't even go <laughs> away, dude. What the hell? I want this to be my commander. Yeah, that card's gas. That's and really good. Angel landfalls to put 1-1s. One, with flying I've always on the hated this card, dude. I've never liked to marry an angel. It's going to be... I have a, a bias. That's fine. Yeah. Biases are yeah. fine. Becomes tap, draw a card. Uh, I mean, it works well with Convoke. Yeah, and that's the whole it's point, a little, right? It's a little strong or a little uh, uh, top heavy as far as mana value goes. But I, I do like that it's going to passively easily tap to draw cards yeah it seems good keeper of the cord this is a personal card that i love it always does better than i expect it to beginning of each opponent's end step if they have more creatures you get a one one beginning of each opponent's end step if they have more lands you get a planes onto the battlefield it's it's stronger than it seems it's always a first cut because it's one of those generically good cards that isn't like straight up synergy and so oh, i don't hate it i like it i actually i do like it Kikar, whenever you cast a non-creature, you're getting a 1-1 one, one, and wing sack spirit sad mana. Seems like where we want to be. Yep. Beginning in combat yep. on your turn, you create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control, which seems like it's where we want to be. And whenever a creature token enters the battlefield on your control, you put a plus one on nesting dovehawk. This card alone could... Is this a new card? Have I not heard of this card I've before? never heard of that card. March of the Machine. Yep. Straight up. Yo, yeah, that's that that's stays. insane, dude. You could get a flyer. You get this on the battlefield and then just figure out some way to create like 10 tokens and you can finish somebody off. Just that's with your good. nesting dove hawk. <laughs> that's look hilarious. At the, look at that leaf it has. Yeah. The whole thing is it's very cute. Alessandra Pisano. Hell yeah, with the it's nesting nice dove hawk. It's a beautiful card. Love the dove. That's a beautiful love card. The dove. Love the dove. Dove love. Dove love over here. Joyfully venerated Storm Loxodon sculptor. in sculptor. the deck. Good Dude, card. Look at those little tiger babies that this thing is making. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you create two blue. Oh, yeah, dude. Blue and red. Oh, my God. Okay, so chat, somebody remind me. That's something that we need to search is cards that specifically make tokens that are two different colors. That would be sick because that is a super good way to fix our mana and convoke our stuff out. Create two blue and red creature tokens. Whenever you cast a spell that has convoke, it deals a damage to each opponent and each battle they protect. Sure. I like the token Joel, creation. What's that, what's that new card that uh, the red enchantment that's rare that has convoke that we said it would be good and then oh, it tripled in price it, yesterday? It oh, went the from, big it diamond champion in this to, set exploded it, it went already? From, <laughs> went from 5 to 15. That's because Convoke yeah. is a broken mechanic, and that card is ridiculous. Um, It's whatever Fire Emancipation was in city. this set. Something city. The city is burning. Burn down the city. Yeah. There you go, burn down the Spice. City. Yeah, burn down the city. Booyah. Whatever yeah, it is. Needs to be, that needs to be in here. <laughs> that's how they killed Atraxa in the story, is they just collapsed all Oh, yeah, that's it. All city the, on fire. Thank you, they Buzz. They just collapsed all the towers in Capenna on Atraxa, and <laughs> that's how she died. Anyway, 
City, yeah, on, City fire. on Fire, it tripled in price overnight. I went to get a play set today because I was like, you know what? I don't want to sleep on this card. I'll spend 20 bucks for four copies. And then I went on there and I was like 15 a card. And I was yeah. like, this is ridiculous, bro. Venerated Loxodon, the premier card of one of my favorite mono white decks and standard of all time. Love this card. Dude, you can convoke this out with five creatures and all five of those creatures also grow in power. Imagine, you know, we got Kickard just killing it with spirits on there the battlefield a, and then Loxodons in your hand. There was a standard tournament that was won by this card just because it was able to beef up the board just like you're talking about so quickly. And it coming down like early, a 4-4 four, four, that's going to beef up your entire board. This right. card is amazing. It's just so good. Flock Chaser Phantom is a 5-5 Flying Vigilant Spirit with Convoke. It says whenever it attacks, the next spell you cast this turn has Convoke. Holy sheesh. Seems so that's good. Pretty, that's pretty interesting. Whenever it attacks, the, the next, next spell, spell you, you cast, cast is... Okay, so think about this. That's you got good. a couple things on the battlefield. Swing with your team, Right. Now the counter spell in your hand, or not swing with your team, leave but leave a couple spirits things back. back. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. It's that. It's this turn, so you can't give something instant speed convoke and like counter on their turn. Turn, unfortunately. Yeah. But I like this card. It's very interesting. Good design. Locus God stays. It's generically just good fast. in this deck. It just creates good. two color t creature tokens, and it does a host of other fantastic stuff. Plus, it's a big grasshopper. Love that. Seraph of the Masses. This is one for me where it's like, this has been one of the Convoke cards forever to my memory. Yeah, Magic 2015. This card has Cut been it. around forever. This it's, is bad. It's just fine. It's boring. It's, it's just boring. boring and it's not that, super boring. It's not that good. <laughs> it's not that good. And you're doing a lot. You know, even though you're convoking it, seven to just right. get a 5-5 five, five flyer. It's the same thing or, on this or card. Or not a 5-5 five, five or however much. This card is it's in here because weird. it has Convoke full stop. No other necessity out. for this. This is awful. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> All right. We're in the sorceries. Path of the Ghostbuster. A white one and X. Create X one one white spirit creature tokens with flying. And starting with you, each player votes for Planeswalker Chaos. If Planeswalk gets more votes, you Planeswalk. And if Chaos gets more votes or votes tied, Chaos ensues. Okay. So let's separate Plane Chase from this. We're going to build this as though we're not going to be playing Plane Chase with it all the time. I like that. I like that we're going to build it as though we're not going to be playing plain chase. That's going to help with these upgrades. And for anybody who is wanting to play this outside of that, yeah. these are going to be cuts that would immediately happen. Right. So, and they're we'll going to be in the sideboard. You know, you can sideboard in your playing chase cards before you play playing chase. Easy peasy. So the question then becomes, and chat help us with this, is one white, one other X at sorcery speed to create x11 flyers good enough to stand by itself i'm of i'm of the inclination to say yes but i also know that there are better cards like automatic one for ones that we can replace this with that are strictly better or yeah or do we supplement the number like does this make third cut is this third string is this fourth string? Because if it's what card path, path of the ghost hunter. I mean, storm I herd. Just cut it. Yeah, storm herd automatically better. Grand crescendo strictly better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was trying to see if there was maybe a case for it to be third string, really, because you wouldn't want more than three of those effects in your in your in your library anyway so ren's resolve like cards before it is just generically good card draw in these colors however we are in blue do we need impulse two for one red one other it's a three color deck so it helps us that it's only one red pip exile the top two cards of your library I mean, this this could be replaced too, in my opinion. Well, it's, I mean, it's we're fine. in blue. We can draw a card. We're in blue and white. We got access to like the best draw shit that's right. not black. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's a cut. Battle Screech, create two one ones with flying and then flashback tap three and tap white creatures you control. I think this is the kind of card that we actually do like 
and will be under will be an over performer in the deck versus how it looks on paper personally yeah temporal cleansing we'll leave that in the we'll look we'll put this in the yeah i like that it's it's, yeah it i'm I'm medium on it but it's a maybe it's a maybe see i compare it to cards like this for where for one more mana we get four and but the flashback of we don't have to spend any more mana and it creates two of the creatures that can flash it back and they can automatically it flashes do it. back at sorcery, so we do need to remember that for sure. It would be yeah, but, but you can. I mean, you pay the four with Battle Screech, you get the two white creatures. You only need one more white creature, and you get to cast it again right then that turn, and you end up with four. I think it's better than it seems. Temporal red highlight means the card is not released yet, Corey G. Uh, temporal right. cleansing <clears throat> one blue three other for a convoke the owner of target non-land permanent puts it into their library second from the top or on the bottom do you get to choose who gets to choose judge will you please explain to me the wording on this Jamo, thank you the for that owner, update. I do the appreciate owner that. Of it. It's the person who owns the card. They get to choose if it goes into Correct. second it's from like the top the or on the bottom. The person who paid money and brought it to the game. That's the person who owns the card. Wah, wah. I think that's a sideboard card, even though it is Convoke. It's Sorcery Speed. It, it is only worth considering because it has Convoke. Right. I, th- I think we keep it, dude. Because like the thing is, is it does work with our... If we cut it, you know what we can cut it and then at the end we need to look at at the fact that it has convoke and make sure we bring in another card that has convoke for it oh 100 percent. we're gonna go add convoke cards like crazy that's probably the first thing we're gonna search so look jake i've still i've added cards that we might want to put back in to considering versus sideboard which is all of our stuff where we're just like meh not for this deck so gotcha. we still got a good, uh, easy place to go and look. All right, past that, we got Migratory Route, which it seems like a yes. Austere Command is generically good. And then Hour of Reckoning is like exactly what we want to be doing with this deck is yeah. using our, not our token creatures to destroy all non-token creatures still have someone a board. did Someone did make a good note about uh, they feel like our tokens will want... Um, Vigilance? Vigilance. I saw so that. Yeah, note. we'll yeah, make like sure that, that we put put Vigi in there for those uh what was that is it from avison what was the what is that card intangible virtue yeah yeah i think that's it yeah exactly token creatures get vigilance or flying or something secure the wastes seems excellent and exactly like the card i was this talking card about has always been stupidly good strip strictly from, better uh, tarkir yeah yeah instant speed oh baby we'll keep the tier one removal yeah we'll keep the tier one removal Target creature gains indestructible until in a turn, and you don't have to be untapped Super sexy. to cast it. This that card is so sexy, so Ooh. good. Destroy target planeswalker that was activated this turn or tapped creature, so they attack. You convoke this out. You can be tapped out. Oh, dude, convoke instance. That that is that makes me horny. Convoke instance are everywhere you want to be. Destroy target planeswalker that was activated this turn or tapped creature. So it's like an anime okay. move. It's like a, ah, you tried that trick against Wait, but me. what was the point that you just made is you could do it? What? You don't have oh, to be if... tap, untapped with mana. You can be right. untapped with creatures and it's instant okay. speed. So yeah. anything that combines Either convoke or... and instant really gets me there as far as like, yeah, if its utility is at all relevant, really into it being in this deck. And then we have to think about, oh. yeah, that that is going to play beautifully with the the commander as yes, well right? exactly because dude look at this this is the same thing instant speed convoke exile and target attacking this is or blocking a creature. i i believe this card has existed before if i recall correctly oh yeah ravnica yeah. City. Oh, look at that art that art is yeah. arguably way better <laughs> like and these are just like if we're going to be doing this and scrying two and then drawing a card oh, that's going to allow us to really get the most out of the commander so right. stuff like this has to stay 100 percent tier one removal I guess we'll leave yeah, that in. Good. It's fine. It's good. Meeting of Minds, draw two for Convoke, instant speed. I like this. Oh, yeah. I like that. Meeting of Minds is a card that I think that's a common, right? I could see that being big and popper. Big. Is this a... Oh, yeah. This is not it's a, a, it's a regular. New card. 
from the set. Bring yeah. your card. Wow. Stoke the flames. Instant speed. Convoke four to any target. Yes, baby. Yeah. Artistic refusal. Convoke. Choose one or both. Counter target well, spell. Set one. Yeah. Or draw two, then discard a card. Yeah, we had this in our top new commander cards. Yep. Shadow the That's source. One. Convoke, choose one. Six to a creature, walker, or battle. Or destroy an artifact. Ugh, that cost is pretty steep for this. Bro, I'm not even... I'm not super high on that card. This is going not to... super high on that. Yeah, let's go to considering, like, we, like you said. I would rather we'll that just and, be in a braid, you know, honestly. <laughs> Seriously. I'll just stay on tap with two. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by creatures this turn. You gain life equal to the damage prevented this way. Ugh. Dude, like one white holy day. If you want to run fog effects in here, which could be good, right? Like some a couple sneaky fog effects because we're going to be tapping out unless we can give our ship vigilance. We're going to be tapping out to do everything in this deck. And so the thing about fog is because people aren't always attacking you. A well-timed fog could mean the difference in oh yeah in in a game. Absolutely, a fog effect is sometimes very good. So yeah, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's very expensive. Yeah, eight eight for this is really tough for me to stomach. If we especially did cut when, it, like, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I'm day, fine, with, I think I'm fine is, with cutting it. Yeah, it's, there we go. Prevent all combat and damage this turn. Instant speed, one white mana. I think that there's let's put it in considering. There's argument for those effects in the sure. deck for sure because we want to be safe from clapbacks skull clamp tier skull one 100 tier one draw in a token deck soul that ring. in here is is pretty much a no-brainer skull clamp is always going to be a card and what's really sexy is they're putting the freaking skull clamp right in the deck this oh, is yeah. a card that always creeps back up because people love it this was a card that absolutely warped 450 the format when $5. it first came out $14 it foil. always creeps it always creeps back up it's it's just one of those cards it's the infinite I skipped this $4 secret dollar layer, Jake this card is now worth almost the price of that secret layer wow that's how that always happens man yeah, I know. <laughs> it's awful I've seen secret layers it's like, before it's happened yeah skull yeah. clamp yes soul ring, ring yes arcane signet yes fractured is a two mana add one it roll the planner die like this should be a mind stone Cut. instead in my opinion yeah i'd be fine with it being a worn power stone actually the, yeah, the right. three for three for two move to sideboard we're just gonna straight cut that commander sphere we're gonna leave in for now but this is like when we go look start looking through utility artifacts or mana rocks anything better for us any mana that rock that has a, like an untap yeah. or a whatever this is mostly just to signify we've cut two mana rocks from this so we should probably add at least one more back if not two uh joel really quick did you ever answer how do you highlight the cards in red on moxfield Corey did ask about that and i forgot yes i did uh, the, oh you did okay good the red cards are the cards that haven't been released yet i haven't highlighted those Got red it. that's done automatically because they aren't technically legal because they aren't technically released gotcha okay cool no worries cultivator caravan a mana rock that can crew as a 5-5 five five and lean into some of our tap strategies. It's very, it's very cuttable for me. I put it in considering instead of let's straight up cut it because it does at least play with the synergies. Enters a battlefield tap. This is a new one. Three mana, one white, two other. Enters a battlefield tap. Add white or the next spell you cast. This so turn has sexy. Convoke. Holy oh, shit. shit. This card is so fucking good. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god yeah. wait <laughs> hang on this card is gonna be this expensive is so stupid this card what is, this card seems really good in one of the main strategies in commander which is tokens go wide how you pay those tokens off completely up to you but you'll be creating tokens nonetheless and giving your spells convoke just turns your tokens into mana it's, it does enter the battlefield tapped though it's strong it's fair but i'm saying casual is the vast majority of commander players tokens is, is one of the top commander strategies period everything residually creates a token nowadays it feels like that card Imagine is really just good like in Let's, the next uh, so i'm just gonna this. tap it and uh uh tap six creatures Lorenklex? yeah yeah elish norn Right. Icar Elixir. And that's Convoke. That means they can help. 
Not that it has to be all your creature tokens. You can still tap lands. This card is good. Icar Elixir. Let's cut one of the world soul. I'm just kidding. Icar Elixir. Four mana. If you would roll one or more planner die. All right. We're going to cut this one to the sideboard. Deluxe Dragster. This is a new one, Jake. A blue and four for a 4-3 vehicle. It can't be blocked except by vehicles. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little hot rod, a little dragster. Races faster. You got to be in a vehicle to catch it. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target instant or sorcery from that player's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into a graveyard, exile it. Crew 2. No downsides. God of the Forge. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals 2 damage to each opponent. Another yeah, version of strong. things like Impact Tremors. Uh, one card that I thought could work for us really nice is a, a new card that came out in Phyrexia all will be one but Skrelv's Hive which is like the white bitter blossom yeah. not nearly as good but pretty strong card in here no We're I just completely agree passively get tokens off of it that we can use to convoke oh yeah it is the white bitter blossom um, Benny, and then I, I did Benny. have that's what I was trying to search up at the beginning of each end step if you create a token this turn draw a card yeah, that's pretty good. And it has convoke. And it has convoke. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That seems really like right on the on the nose. Uh, City on fire was one that we just talked about. Yeah. To that note, let's look at what we have. Whenever that has a source convoke. you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals triple. So that could be. I mean, that's God. That card is so good. I mean, that's a game winner kind of card right there. And then someone said chief engineer earlier, and I thought that that was a an interesting choice. Artifact spells you cast have Convoke? No, never mind. We can cut that. Um, let's look at Convoke, and we'll sort EDH rack rank and see what we have that we can just dump in there right off the rip. Oh, wait. Really quick before we do that. Can we sure. look at the cuts? I want to I wanna just look at our cuts really quick and make a fast note about, of our cuts, how many of them had Convoke. Let's, let's make a note about that really so, fast. So cards that we just outrighted. One, two, had Convoke, and one created creature tokens. But okay, we're going to be two had to put Convoke. Those. And then considering cards, one, two had Convoke. Uh, sorry. And con four had Convoke. Two instances we cut. And yeah, those are ones that could go back in if we're like, yeah, it needs to go back in. All right, well, then let's do this first. Let's go search Convoke and see if we can find six cards with Convoke that seem like they should come back in the deck. Yep. Obelisk of Erd, it's, this is good, except you have to choose a creature type, and we would have nope. to lean into one creature type of token, and that's not really where we want to be. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Convoking Teferi's Protection, that's like an automatic yes. Any number of target now, Yes. Return. What happens to a token when it phases out? It comes back, right? It comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes okay. back. Yeah. Phase out works differently. Got it. Return to ranks. Return target creature cards X with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this, I think, goes into the considering section because if we do end up going with like a lot of cards like the goblins that, you know, create two tokens for two mana... We could really lean sure. into those kind of surge synergies and look at Sun Titan effects to return a lot of those things. Um, triplicate Spirits, this seems really good. Convoke out three flyers. I'll make six. a note about Assemble the Legion. Go ahead, Joel. Sorry. Well, it's a Sorcery Speed. What do you think of it? Sorcery Speed, Convoke, put three 1-1 one, one white flyers onto the battlefield. Uh, pretty Pretty low on it pretty low just because of the mana value of it yeah absolutely um enchantment aura enchanted creature gets plus o plus two for each other creature you control and there's a battlefield gain of life for each creature you control and chat now you're seeing why there wasn't really a convoke deck because what we're gonna do now oh do you want to gain eight life jake at instant speed with convoke um we're going Wait, let's to, keep going. Is there anything else? Well, that, what that I want to do, here? what we can do is sort by date. We're sorted by um, EDH rec rank, and all of these new Convoke cards just came out. It looks like we're getting down to them anyway, so whatever. Don't like these. 
New cards. Enters the battlefield. Look at the top six. You can reveal up to two creature cards with mana value X or less from among them, where X is the number of creatures that convoked Knight Errant. That's very good. And this good. is not in the deck? No, this is just in the main set. So this is... Chad, if you're new to the pre-cons, a lot of times they'll build pre-cons around mechanics from the set so that you need to go get cards from the set that are, you know, just better upgrades for your deck right out of the rip. This seems like it goes in there to me. I like it because it it solves not only needing to be a Convoke spell, but also a creature, and we cut a couple creatures as yeah. well. When it's... it's Vo uh, velocity or card advantage however you want to look at it too because if you can convoke it with five you get to reveal up to two creature cards with mana value five or less where five is the number of creatures that convoked it you know so you can go get two five mana drops in right. your top six if you want to transcendent, transcendent is tough it's, it's tough four i hate four blue dude four it blue sucks. is really tough and then you convoke on top of that i i really <laughs> don't like it I don't. We know these are good. Uh, let's look at nine creature spells you have convoked. So as this siege enters for three mana, it enters the battlefield, create two one one blue kraken creature tokens with trample. Okay. That seems and good flips, for three mana. And then it flips into non creature spells you cast have convoked and at the beginning of your end step, up tap untap up to four target creatures. This is that. really good. <laughs> that goes in. I hate that it's a sideways Jake, card, but we it have, absolutely goes everybody in. Everybody claps in chat. We've just put our first battle into a commander deck. This is a it, historic moment here at Jake and Joel or Magic. We've just built our first battle into Wild a commander Fire deck. Wildfire Awakener is already in there. Yeah, the battle goes in. Invasion I mean, it's of really Segovia. Hard to Write it down, baby. Somebody yeah. mark it. Damn. We got a battle. Complete the circuit. You may cast sorcery spells this turn as though they had flash. And when you cast, when you next cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell twice. You may choose new targets for the copies. Uh, it looks so win more, dude, because it's already really top heavy. I do see that it has convoke, so you could use creatures in order to get the spell online. Dude, just out just because you could have this and you could have swords of plowshares in your hand at the same time convoke it with six creatures or just have four mana convoke it with three and pay three which we're gonna have yeah. three creatures on the battlefield constantly with this deck then you cast your swords you get three copies of swords or any of the x spells any of the spells that we that we cast nobody's liking complete the circuit i'm the only one okay shadow the source i think it's a, I think it's a trap <laughs> one red five other convoke instant speed oh we cut this one yeah we cut that i don't like that astral thing either no enters the battlefield draw a card enchanted creature gets plus two plus two has flying scary bad not where you want to be scary bad <laughs> all right convoke for it's an eight mana five five with ward three when it etbs look at the top four put one into your hand rest on the bottom interdisciplinary mascot eight okay this looks like a draft bomb dude i don't think it's a commander card i mean it's it's okay a yeah. five five with ward three has no evasion it's just a big dumb five five right and it grabs you something it's it's not very good i agree it's with not you very good i don't like ramosi and greatsword either five mana three one trample actually i mean Look, it gives... Does our commander have trample? It, it, it has haste, vigilance, and... Um, what's the other thing? I don't know. What's her Wait, name? Wait, I have it. I have it pulled up. Hold on, I, I have it. I just can't go back without losing. Oh, yeah, flying. It's an angel. Yeah, that's what it was. 3-1 trample... It's only uh, even being, I mean, obviously there's better in, there's better artifacts to give stuff trample. I'm just curious with the convoke, at least with our commander out, we get to, you know, and we're reducing cards. We can't forget that. We don't have to have five on the battlefield. This costs two and three creatures if we want. You know what I'm saying? It just turns yeah. our creatures into lands. When this ETBs, okay, so this has vigilance. When it ETBs, tap target creature and opponent controls and put a stun counter on it, which means it has that 
frost giant effect where if it would become untapped, you remove the counter and go from there. It's fine. It's like a temp removal. I would cut it. Zephyr Singer needs to come in though. Yeah, for sure. Shivan Branch Burner, 5-5 five, five Flyer, 4-4 four, four Flyer Haste, not where we want to be. This card was in our top commander card, so that's an obvious. Plus two, plus two Seems flying. Really good. I don't think we need that. Up to two target creatures each get plus two, plus oh, and gain haste until end of turn. We're playing the destruction. How about just a three, two that convokes out? That's pretty cute little art. I love that that card. I think it will do things in Popper. I think there's like something where it's like you could just get that out for free really fast. Yeah. And then we're down um, to the bottom. Convoke the owner of target permanent puts it on their into their library second from the top or bottom. We know that that's in our considering right now. A 3-4 generic flyer with convoke and tap up the two target creatures, put a stun counter on either one, then put a stun counter on either of them. That's not bad. That's not bad. The stun counters, uh, that that's like if you want to get the whole team through. All right, so how many Convoke cards did we add? I'm going to put this one in considering just so that we can oh, put it back look to at top. it. Yeah, just so okay. that we can look at it compared to the others as well. Because now we have the ones that are no-brainers in the deck 100%, and we have um, the ones that are potentials in the maybe board. We have so 17, 17 Convoke cards. <laughs> All right, so maybe we bring in... Uh, let's look at our considering, because we probably... I don't even think we added six off of that. So... All right, so these are considering that are not in the deck currently. Yeah, yeah I mean, we liked the four mana basically icy tap down, right? That's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's worth playing. We also... We remember we get to draw a card off of these if our commander's on the battlefield. So they replace themselves. Uh, I think I like Temporal Cleansing more than yeah. any of these other options here. I like it too. I like it too. And then we're left with... So still, still chat, we're a little bit... um, A little bit far away from being able to really like pick and choose out of a wide range of cards in these colors for Convoke. And that's okay. Uh, we still have six cards to pick. And um, I guess let's go back and look at our cuts and see out of our cuts what type of um, synergies we need to fulfill to kind of keep the... I'm still, I'm still kind of on this one. I think that this one could go back in. Six to a creature, a walker, or a battle. Most often this is going to hit... I mean, six, six toughness is going to hit almost every creature. You know, so it's basically destroy target creature. Um, or artifact. It's something to Zachariah think about. Zechariah says, oh, I'm here suggesting random cards for my Naya tokens. Yeah, I mean, honestly, token creators, we got six cards left in the deck. Jake, our other cuts here, we cut creature, yeah. rock, token creator, creature, card draw, basically. Uh, creature slash removal, creature slash removal uh, of graveyards, planter die stuff, and then two bad convoke creatures. Create creature token. Sort it up. EDH rec, baby. Yeah, I think Rabble Master would probably be pretty good in here. Um, oh. Field of the Dead. Field, Field of, of the, the dead, dead is a good note. Field I'll of make the a dope. note about that. I added it. I think it's I think it's clutch. It's right. It came up right here. Oh, okay. A lot of these are I mean, it's just gonna come up with all of the token creators, so a lot of them are gonna be like this where they're uh, removal. So fell at our retreat in here could be very degenerate. I agree. It not only work it works both ways. Exactly, dude. It's both ways. Like that one one counter on each creature, that could be that's win con type potential right there. Yeah, that's how we win. Um yeah, Krinko. Krinko seems like a good add. Like that one goblin that costs two, I would actually put like... Young Pyromancer in its place, dude. Instant or Sorcery yeah, create a 1-1. One, one. Exactly. Yeah. We'll remember to cut that goblin when we go back, because I think... I mean, look at this. Whenever you attack, and it's, uh, Adeline is just so freaking good, dude. Whenever you attack, and it doesn't even have to be her, 
For each opponent, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token that's tapped and attacking. And then it's got Vigi, and then it's got power equal to the number of creatures you control. Like, that's exactly what we're trying to do. What do you think of a card like Talrand, right? Like, this is really good. Get a blue one every time we instant or sorcery out. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would I add how... the, I would add white castle. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Might as well, right? Yeah. Court of Grace. Card draw. Introduces Monarch. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you create a 1-1. One, one. I'm kind of medium on it. It's it's a little bit expensive. But a card like this, Oketra's Monument, seems like exactly what we're going for. Just three mana, reduces our commander and our other white creatures. It's pretty good. And we cast just any creature spell, we get a 1-1. One, one. It gets a little, a little love going for the creatures that we cast. Right. Creatures you control have vigilance. Each creature you control can block an additional creature each combat. Yeah, that's really that's really annoying for people because <laughs> uh our one ones can I mean, block I, two I creatures. Like it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean a token being able to double block something is really freaking annoying. Oh, and yeah. then vigilance means we get to swing. Yeah, it's a good card. Tokens you control. Let's drum see. bellower. Oh, drum is bellower is the untap. Yeah, yeah. We gotta have we gotta have things like that. Sort. EDH wreck. Oh, we need to not under you control. We need to you. We just need to take out under your. Oh, yeah. We probably want anointed. We probably want to put anointed in. Yeah. It seems like the way to go. Divine visitation whenever a creature token would be controlled instead it's a 4-4 with flying and vigilance that card is always busted <laughs> it's always <laughs> if you if you resolve it it is just always busted here's our here's our land that creates two tokens as a utility play junk the blue winder one is good too the blue mythic dude junk winder has affinity C for tokens, restoration. and then whenever a token enters the battlefield under your control you tap target non-land permanent opponent controls and it doesn't untap during its next untap step like junk winder is so many things for our deck for an uncommon man it's ridiculous it essentially has convoke exactly except we yeah. don't even have to tap yeah. um grand crescendo has to be in here i i think it creates x one ones and if you just want to cast it for two creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn yeah it's really strong rabble rousing whenever you attack with one or more creatures create that many one ones <laughs> And then if you control 10 or more creatures, you can play the hideaway five card that it create that it pulled when it came in. I mean, we've added in some really good stuff. I still think the deck is very strong. So uh, Suture Priest feels like one that could come out. This is like a lesser ability of what we were trying to do. Instigator came comes out for young Pyromancer. Yeah, sure. We can it, since we need cuts, that's a good cut. Um becomes tapped it deals a damage to any target i think that seems like small beans at this point especially, yeah, especially when one one for three yeah. yeah you know we're we're keeping things like blink something away you know when it becomes tapped to convoke or enters the battlefield we do need i mean effects like this untap all creatures you control during each other player's untap step like, seems good that's got stuff like that's got to be in there Someone also said Smothering Tithe. I mean, yeah, that Rhystic Study, those are always sure. cards that are just going to be generically good, you know? We need five cuts. Well, let's keep looking here. Looking at our instance here. You know, if we're going to leave our Convoke stuff... We don't really have, besides Grand Crescendo, we don't really have anything protecting our line. That's target creature. Yeah, like a Teferi's Protection yeah, or something like right. that. Yeah, like stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, How many lands do we currently have? 30, 37, 38, including that modal DFC we added down. Okay, okay, okay. That seems like a fine spot to be. We need for now. Five, five cuts. 
I think the dragster could come out. It really is just like sort of secondarily a fun, a, fun playful thing to right. do. Yeah. yeah. It feels like a secondary to our strategy sort of thing when we're looking at you know just creating tokens like crazy. Sure. Getting in. Um this is something to consider like our commander is a little bit top heavy. Do we need something like a lightning greaves to make sure that it is protected and that kind of thing? Potentially for sure. I, you know, with Convoke recasting this thing ain't that difficult. And that sure. second time that, you know, they remove Kazla and then it just comes right back the next turn by tapping our tokens. But you're right. I mean, second time it's eight, second uh, after that it's 10. And it just keeps going up. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever it enters the battlefield, untap all creatures you control. Like, I feel like that could come out. That was just a regular card in the deck, right? right. Yeah, 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 I mean, when you look at it now, yeah, it could probably go. What about Fallow Sage versus versus Bell Ringer? Um, the battle seems like exactly what we want to do. I mean, when three mana, it creates two one ones. That's already a pretty good rate on that. And then when it flips, it's giving all of our nine creature spells that don't have Convoke, Convoke. And more importantly, the most important piece, in my opinion, is that at the beginning of your end step, you untap up to four creatures. So we can convoke stuff out and then untap and be ready to go for blocks if we need to. Or we can attack and then be ready to go for blocks. Yeah. But I'd also have to test battles, man. I don't really... I, I mean, we would battle. need to hit it for four before we get that other side of it. That's true. So, I don't That's know. True. Four more cuts... Sorceries, we got seven, 12, we got instants. So stuff like Tauren has got 20, 19, 19 targets to hit it. A lot of those targets create tokens or draw stuff, remove stuff. Did we cut Elspeth? Yeah, we could cut Elspeth. Elspeth. Goodbye, Elspeth. Yeah, we'll cut Elspeth. That's fine. Down to three. Someone said Jeskai Ascendancy. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Like whirlwind of Thought. Hey, you know what? Let's cut Shark Typhoon. I don't think we need it. I think that's a good idea. I don't think we need Shark We're Typhoon. just going to straight up cut it. We're not going to put that in the maybe board. Yeah. And that gives us a little budget on lands, too, when we want to do... I think that this is still obviously still good, but not super on our strategy. We're not going to be, like, storming off or anything. You know, we'd rather have cards like Felidar Retreat or Divine Visitation versus this enchantment, you know? Yeah, I do think that that card, it just, it, it really could, like, could be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Intruder Alarm is really good. That's true. That could probably come in. We're down really, really tight here. Last cut is, you know, at this point, I don't really want to cut any of our removal. 26 you know, creatures. We could probably, you know, I, I don't like that, or I don't mind that assessment on impact tremors. It's only good here because it's a good card. It could be cut. I mean. Yeah, it's it's just, the fact that it Kraken says could each go? opponent. Yeah. The you fact think Kraken could go? Uh, yeah. I honestly, for me, Kraken has always underperformed in decks that I've put it in. Yeah, let's cut it. That's fine. Okay, so that's, that's 100 a good... there. All right, well, let's let's tinker with lands. We got about 50 bucks to play around with in lands. So let's um, let's cut uh, wilds. Yeah, cut evolving. Cut we'll cut a mountain. We'll cut a mountain. We'll cut a, a island. We'll cut a plains. Yeah, let's we'll cut go... two plains. Yeah, let's go at... We got to look at our colors, too, because we can look here. See, we got 60% is white here so we should go you know two to one to one sure on our basics let's look at that's fine type land minus type basic sort eda trick and see what we get on this yeah we'll get we'll get our steam vents we'll get our uh our sacred foundry we'll get our um scalding tarn that's only 18 bucks 
Yeah, if we, we could go scalding tar. Definitely hollowed fountain, steam vents, and uh Foundry. Sacred Foundry. Yep. I think that might be all of our budget right there as far as we're concerned there. 289. Yeah. So well then we can add we can add one one fetch land. There's gotta be one fetch land we can add. Let's just do Arid Mesa. It's probably right around there, and then we can Booyah. Yeah, there you go. Type it's land, not bad. minus type, basic, sort, EDH rec. Are there any other utility lands, chat? I always like, if we can add them, I always like adding in like a Forgotten Caves over a mountain because I can cycle it away or a Lonely Shore over a island for the very same reason. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, these these cards, before we even get down to that point, like, if we weren't going to do a budget on this one, all of the lands that say enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents, you need to put those in there. I would also say the check lands are very playable in this. Islander Mountain comes into play untapped. You don't need Cavern. That falls into the same category as we talked about. Yeah, Outpost is good. Den of the Bugbear says Scott and MTG Gaming Bub. Den I guess of the Bugbear. Let's look at that one really quick. You control two or more other lands. Yeah, whenever it attacks, it creates a 1 1, leaves the token behind. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Gonna push yeah, us a little more over our budget here, but. Not a bad card. What's a budget? So let's look back I over mean, if here. We're like right around 300, that's fine. 300, 315, you know, that's not bad. I could see that. 320. I could see that could potentially see that. happening. Type land. 325, 330. Oh, cycle. Oh, cycling. <laughs> it doesn't say cycle on the card. Come on, bro. Okay. So we're talking about the one mana cyclers, right? Forgotten Cave. Forgotten Cave, Lonely Sandbar. The only negative to those is they enter the battlefield tapped, but I don't care. Secluded step, and then we're going to run the Triome, right? We should run the Triome. It's the Why not? 340. Especially I can see that's, that. That's the target for our Arid Mesa. 320. I can see that. All right, so we have 44, 45, including. Excuse me. We're going to go 37, 38, including. Is that where we were at? Basically, we just got to cut seven basics here. Um, yeah, we just need to cut some basics. If any of those... Wait, let's see if one. any of those lands entered the battlefield tapped. Any of those non-basics? Uh, we, kind of we got the temples. No, we'll keep the temples. Those are fine. Filter, Shock Shock, we added. Rogue's Passage is... Rogue's Passage is medium in this deck, but it's fine. Yeah. Two or more basics. Ooh, these probably... Port Town enters the battlefield, reveal a plains or island from your hand. That's fine, but I don't like this. Two or more basics. Because every yeah, time that, we cut a basic, this card gets that worse. Could go. That could go. Uh, Monastery is the tri is just a tri land. This one creates tokens, hallowed, forgotten. Snarl is the reveal. Snarl is the reveal. Field is good. Exotic is always fine. That creates tokens, that creates tokens, and then command tower. I think from there we just go basics down to down six cards. Yeah, I would go uh two island, two mountain, two planes. It's two two two. Yep. Easy peasy. Alright. So that's our first upgrade of this. Not bad. Probably want to dig in more as you go even crazier on this. You want to dig in more into token <coughs> creators and token payoffs. You want to dig in more to maybe some protection if your meta is not really needing this much removal. Because, I mean, look at it. We do have one, two, three, four. We actually don't have that much removal. And then temporary removal. Maybe you don't end up liking Wanda the World Soul. I mean, maybe we have so much Convoke in here. This card is kind of medium. But it's really good in car in decks that don't have a lot of convoke but create a lot of creature tokens. Sure. Let's do a let's do a little uh, couple of rounds of playtesting this. See where we're at. So our first hand. Let's go to a better view for this. 
first thing we do have Skrull's Hive, which isn't a bad, uh, yeah, bad card to find. Yeah, excellent two drop there. We end yeah. up with a three drop that can destroy artifact and destroy enchantments, <clears throat> and then our huge enchantment. The big question is, are we super comfortable with two lands on this in this hand? But we'll just say that we kept it and we'll play it out, right? Sure, why not? So let's draw a card. Enters the battlefield tap unless we control the planes. We don't have a turn one play, so we'll just go ahead and do that. What do you say? Tab that. Yep. Uh, next turn. We draw a card. We draw Benny Brax. We're going to go... So here we go Hive. Yeah, we go... Doesn't really matter. Montagna and then Hive for two. Bop, bop. Next turn. We add a token. It is a Mite. What is it? That's right. It's a... Phyrexian a... Mite. There it is. Bam, ba -da -ba. Okay, so now we Ooh, could convoke Get Benny online if we wanted to. Something I've just learned about mites, they are colorless. Not the hugest deal, but it can't help us with any of our color pips on anything. But it's like colorless mana. It's fine. Still really good, and it's going to create them passively, honestly. Yeah, Jake, I actually don't hate that at all. We just go Skycloud. Sure. We go... Tap, 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 Benny Brax. <laughs> Instep, trigger, create a token this turn, which we did. We draw a card. We pass the turn. Pretty pretty sweet. It's pretty good. Yeah. Next turn. Oh, Skrelv does do one damage per turn. That is oh, keep, yep. worth keeping Booyah. in, in mind. Uh, next turn, we take a damage. We put a Phyrexian Might out. Booyah. We're at two for... Oh, man, that card is good. We're at 38. Uh, Den of the Bugbear. Uh, Scroll of Scythe. <laughs> Bitter Blossom. Oh, yeah. Those cards yeah. are good. <laughs> yeah, it's just a good card. Um, You know, at this point, so, we can cast our commander. I think this is the turn where we would go commander. We could have actually gone commander uh, last turn, but, I mean, this is pretty strong. We could go commander. I don't think we had enough last turn because we had three lands and one token. Next turn, we could convoke using our commander to get City on Fire out, which is pretty strong. Oh, that's very true. Oh, Den is, Den is tapped. Den is tapped. Oh, and there's the battlefield tap. That's fine. We don't yep. even need it, right? Oh, no, we don't even need it. Because we got white, red, blue. We also tap. That's three, four, five, six. Kazli enters the battlefield. Flying Vigilance Haste. We're definitely attacking with her. So one, yeah, why one not? person is at, you know, only needs three more hits from her. We'll attack. She's got vigilance. She doesn't need to untap. EOT. Or Benny, four more, but still, still good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. EOT. Benny Brax draws us a card. We draw into yep. a removal. Next turn. Yep. Untap. We lose a life. We create a might. So if you get... Turn two Scrolls Hive with this deck. <laughs> it do, it just goes absolutely ham. Yeah, it essentially creates you a bunch of mana rocks. Yeah, kind of in kind of a a fantastic turn turn two play turns out. I don't think we even need to uh, goldfish more on this. Let's just run it back and and start over yeah, and see what to, a new hand looks like. So the problem is here is that we oh no we can convoke with her. So with red her. red yeah. red. There we go. And then you're online with that. Yep. And then you're online. We have five more. So yeah, I just wanted to finish that goldfish out. One, two, three with the red, and then one, two, three, four, five with the mites. And all the damage Buzz is triples. Fuzz. That's right. Buzz Fuzz, good looking out. Assemble the Legion, big card for this deck. Oh. That was one that didn't make it in, and you're you're absolutely right. Assemble the Legion probably goes in here for sure. So let's hit restart. Opening hand. Got scrolls five in our opening hand, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to send this one back. It's Command a sad tower, hand. scrolls. This ain't this ain't where we want to be. Uh, we're just going to. Can I mulligan here? Uh, let's just restart. Shuffle. No, just shuffle. It says shuffle. Shuffle. There you go. Oh wait, never mind. That doesn't do anything. What am I talking? We about? have shuffled. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Shuffling. Restart. Here we go. Much better hand. Ugh, it is not. No, it isn't. Okay, so we would go down to six 
on this next one. Let's just do it. I shuffled. Let's restart. <laughs> All right. So we would need to put one card on the bottom here. Probably stoke the flames, right? Uh, yeah. We don't think we need to remove all. Put to bottom of library. Okay. So. Court town and say go. Yeah. Well, we draw a card first and then we can port town. Say go. Next turn. Now we're getting flooded out. Frost boil. Oof. Say go. Next turn. Okay. Oh, that's something to do at least. Yeah, we get to give our creatures Vigi. And Pretty rough. each creature we control can do it. Next turn. Oh my god. Well, this is just a flood game. Flood I mean, games here's are the thing happen. is we do have we do have removal. Yeah. So let's we'll get that thing out. Why not? Drum bellower. Well, it lets us cast our commander next turn. Mm -hmm. It's like ramping. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we tap the three for that, and then we go to our next turn. I still think we go commander here. Uh, Yeah. I mean, we're not making a token, so commander's probably the way to go. Benny Brax, it would be like just sending them out to... So we no tap, reason. we tap, 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 tap. Um, This yeah. would attack, hit somebody. We untap this creature at the big at our player uh, each other players untap step just as a note yep. oh no oh yeah 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 yeah. and then we go next turn draw a card now we're kind of getting in business here because we can go fell at our retreat is a big deal because we could play that first and yeah. then we could actually here on the play our page. land make a token we are on the then we can convoke out page. benny and we're doing stuff cat beast um yep. and then tap four let's, so te Swing. technically we could go to attacks here because everything has vigilance with brave so you could attack here if there's openings for whatever damage you want to get through and then like jake said yeah second main benny brax one two three um, draw a card at the end step because we draw a card at the end step and well we, we get to token. we get to scry two oh very we convoked important with our casla here so here we get to we cast a spell with convoke so we scry two so we'll just look at forgotten cave and care keep uh, i'd say bottom both of these right care keep isn't isn't a bad oh, uh, yeah. card for it us creates a token every single turn yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll play off fell at our retreat as well that's definitely a bottom one there, and then we can leave that one on top. Then we draw a card off of Kazla, right? Yeah. Yep. Scry 2, draw a card. And then EOT, we draw a card off Benny Brax. Okay, so we got kind of going there. You know, that's another one where, like, let's go next turn, just see what our next card is. So Source of Plowshares, now we're on, right? Well, at this point now, what I would do is I would play uh, Care Keep, and then I would put a token on everything that's probably what i would elect to do off of fell at our retreat yeah i think at this point you don't try to grow the board as much as you try to just make the stuff that's out there bigger that's why that card is just so excellent you know right like as i think that's one of the big things about this deck that you'll want uh that we saw in the first first part of this that did well was the Skrelv's hive right and now we see the fell at our retreat so i think one thing you'll really want to do is make sure that you have a good token generator that does something either passively at your upkeep or uh, off of landfall like we see here with the retreat. Yeah. I think that you want to have maybe five or six of those effects in the deck. Make sure that you can see one a game. Or I like uh, how quickly this deck can pull out of a tailspin if it gets a token creator going. Yeah, yeah. I think... I. I definitely think, and there are some really good token creators in white. Uh, we've even made videos about it. We have a token generation video yeah. uh, of some of our favorite token generators. I think that that's a big thing in here is because you want to be able to get to that commander early because once you're able to start scrying off of the, the convoke stuff, that's going to put you in a really good place. But Oh my God. Absolutely. I mean, it, this doesn't look that bad. No, it tested very well. Um, you know, cards like this one's in standard right now. Somebody said it in chat. Claudio said it in chat. Uh, wedding announcement. 
Beginning of your end step, put an imitation oh, counter on it. This card is so freaking annoying. <laughs> if you attack with two or more creatures this turn, you get to draw. Otherwise, you create a 1-1, one, one, and then if it gets three counters, you transform it into creatures you control, get plus one, plus it's one. so good. Which is just it's so, so good. good for us. So, like, I'm just going to add... Uh, no, I'm not going to add it to the main deck so we don't have to make an adjustment, but I'm going to add it con to considering just so it is in our Community Divine Convocation. That is the upgrade of this one. And we'll make sure that the... Uh that this deck is in the description of the video i did see in some previous videos people were like hey would you please put the decks you're talking about into the description so we'll make sure that that happens so that you could take a look at the yep. deck you can look at the considering and all that stuff too let us know what you would change